Glenn Whitney from Renaissance Capital quit the hedge fund business and he started the National Museum of Mathematics with a terrific board of trustees. They built this wonderful institution here in New York City and it's about math. America's way, way behind in math. And we got to get the kids and their parents engaged. Inside's a lot of fun, but this is a serious business. We got to get better at math. Okay, what are we doing here? Oh my God, there I go. It's actually very easy. I flunked this. This is serious math people trying to get a seventh grader fired up. How right. do you do that? Well, the first thing we do is give them something to touch. People learn by through their hands, by touching and doing. I can go faster than you. <laughs> Four, five, six. Like a hexagon, right? It's mathematics and algebra is not just about numbers and formulas. It's also, in almost every instance, about the physical space of geometry. But what do we need to do in this country to turn it around to make math cool? It's great, you know, to have places like this where mm. they can touch and feel it. And then, you know, these kind of toys. I'm always looking for toys to keep their brain going. Otherwise, they're just on their little machines. Do you let them do the machines? Do they get a certain time. Throw them into the Pacific Ocean. I do that too. <laughs> okay. <laughs> are expecting kids to get these math skills in school, but we never show them what they connect to in the real world. We never show them sort of the light at the end of the tunnel. Totally agree. So we're here to show people the beauty in the applications, and then we rely on the great math teachers that we have to help them get the skills. What I will do for mathematics 